Okay, one more quick program for some extra practice and reinforcement. This one is a money converter. So um, let's say I'm taking a business trip. I'm going to start in Europe, and then I'm going to move on to China. Let's say I have worked for a big international corporation, and we have presence in both of those areas of the world. So um, I want to enter a, an amount in U.S. dollars. Let's say in addition to business, I want to be able to go to some nice restaurants, do some shopping, do some sightseeing, and uh, you know maybe I want to spend a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, and um, I can plug in that amount and find out how many euros that will be when I land in Europe, wherever I'm going, and then also um, how many. UN or RMB, you can also call it, um, that would be in uh, China, the Chinese currency. So um, this is a fairly straightforward program. I should mention that I looked up these conversion rates. They're changing day to day. So all, yeah, all I had to do was Google that. So today, at the time of this recording, $1 is worth 0.87 euros and 6.36 um, UN. So... With that in mind, again, remember our one, two, three approach. Step one, we get the input from the user. Now, all I want in this case is the the amount of dollars that I want the the user m myself in this case wants to spend. And um, I have to be mindful of that coming in, though. Remember, everything comes in as a string, and I have to convert that. This is money. Okay, so I definitely want that to be a float. Stay away from the int when you're dealing with money. So that will be in the dollars variable. And then I'm home free, really. All I have to do is convert using those factors that I looked up online, uh, put the answers in variables, appropriately named variables. So the euros is the dollars times 0.87. The UN is going to be the dollars times 6.36. And then that's it. I can display the result. Uh, here I'm using the f-string technique. Remember, I, I said this in the last video. If you're going to break up your out your code to the next line, you have to include another f on that. So you have to do like two f-strings together. And um, remember this technique as well. We're dealing with money in this program. I want everything displayed to two decimal places, no matter what. So this is the technique, right? You put a code. You get right into that. Uh, right, right up against that variable in the in the curly braces, colon, decimal point. However many decimal places you want. In this case, it's two in every area. Okay, and then the letter F. This is the only part that'll change. Whether it's two, whether it's zero, whether it's one, whatever, de depending on the situation. Now with money, of course, it's two. So that's why we have that here. On all three of them, I use that technique, and that should be it. Let me run it. Okay, so let's say um, I'm the CEO of the company, in fact, and I have $10,000 to burn. Okay, so when I get to Europe, that's 8,700 euros, and then uh, in China, that's what, 63,600 UN. Okay.